everybody so by the title you can already tell what this video is going to be about i have been thinking about getting my nose pierced for years like probably since junior year of high school i honestly don't know if my parents would have let me gotten my nose piercing done in high school dad if you're watching this would you have let me got my nose pierced in high school and i'm talking about my nostril i'm not talking about like up here or here or anything dad if you're watching this text me right now and tell me um i have been kind of thinking about it and i was talking to my friend about getting my nose pierced like i think we were at claire's i came across some nose jewelry and she's like oh these are so cute and i was like yeah i've been wanting to get my nose done for forever and she was like oh my gosh me too and i was like well if you go i'll go and we can get it done together so we're gonna try to get them done today she's not sure if she wants to get hers done yet she's kind of like going back and forth and i have three places in mind to get my piercings done if my first place fails and i have another place and if that place fails and i have another place so right now i'm actually about to go babysit it's 9 50. i'll get done around 1 and then around 1 30 um i am going to meet my friend anyways i'm going to go babysit try not to chicken myself out and then i will catch y'all after I am done babysitting. I'm at McDonald's with my friend Jordan. I don't think she's ever been on the vlog before. Um, but yeah, we're trying to eat and fill up ourselves before we go get our noses pierced. <laughs> I got a kid's meal because they're cheap and it comes with fruits. And then what did you get? A it's chicken. a double chicken barbecue sandwich. And then I got fries. And then me and Ashlyn are gonna split this Oreo McFlurry because yes. it looks why not? So, so good. We just got to the place and I am so scared. <laughs> like, my heart is racing. We are at Tattoo Lab if anyone is curious. Um, hopefully they have an opening. If not, then we'll be going to Aviano, so let's see. So Tattoo Lab, you have to have an appointment. So we're calling another place in Aviano to see if we can walk in there which is kind of interesting because we weren't like expecting to have an appointment so let's see we're heading right now to go get our piercings we went to tattoo lab earlier and as you saw we couldn't get in because we didn't have an appointment so then we called tattoo crew which is a place in aviano that we've heard pretty good things about and you have to have appointments there too but luckily we got in at 6 p.m so it is around 5 30 and we're heading there right now. We're gonna try to get there just a tad bit early because we don't know if we have to show up to like pick out our jewelry and stuff because they close at seven. So I don't wanna be there, you know, past the time so that I feel bad. Um, anyways, we're gonna go. I'm for sure getting one and then Jordan's gonna see how I react and then that's gonna be her choice. Okay guys, we just pulled up and I'm feeling like we shouldn't pull up. <laughs> Um, this place, we can't really see it. We're gonna, I think we're gonna have to take a walk around. For anyone who's new here, I suffer from an arrhythmia and I can already feel the anxiety getting to me. I can. We're filling the waiters out, guys, so we don't sue. <laughs> Got it, Ashlyn. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. That's it. All done. That's it. You're done. Woo! You see? <laughs> the worst part is the anxiety. Am I right? It doesn't hurt. It's just like my eyes are. Yeah, I just got it done. My nose doesn't match my makeup, obviously, because she had to wipe it off. But Jordan's debating. I think she should do it because, yeah, like, obviously it hurts, but it's not that bad. Ow. Such a wimp. Like, I can't make up my mind. I think you should just 
I think, I think yours looks good. I feel like you have the nose for it. I mean, I feel like left is more common. Right side's not as common as left. And I'm like, God, I'm such a beautiful. <laughs> no, honestly, like, just keep your eyes closed though, because I feel like the needle on your face is kind of intimidating. I like sent a picture in our like little family group chat. Yeah. I was like, what could we to be doing? And he, <laughs> Logan's uncle, was like, getting coffee. When I'm ready, I'm going to tell you a big deep breath in, slow exhale out, the worst is over, I throw out the sharp stuff, put in the jewelry, and you got a nostril piercing. Okay. Cool? Okay. Awesome. Let's line up in the meantime. Here comes the two that you talked about. Big deep breath in and out. That's the worst of it. You did it. We're just going to put in the jewelry now. I literally just thought it was recording this whole time. But anyways, we told ourselves that if we went through with it, we'd get gelato. So right now we're sitting in her car getting gelato. When we get back, we can like talk more about like how our experience was and everything. But yeah, obviously we're still alive, so it wasn't that bad. So I think I mentioned this at the beginning, but I'm not too sure. We didn't tell our husbands that we were doing this. Jordan's husband and um, Jordan, my Jordan, um, our friends they work together we're going to attempt to go surprise them they're working right now at the base but i think they're at an area where we can go see them at least and at least show them <laughs> like to do this it hurts so bad <laughs> i agree we just surprised them but i didn't get it on video because they're about to do an exercise i just feel like that'd be kind of inappropriate while they're like at work doing an exercise so um when Jordan comes home tomorrow, I will get like a like new reaction from him, I guess. He's just like, he's like, oh, it looks so good. What did he say? He was like, wow, you actually did it. And I was like, I said, shh. I said, Nicola doesn't know. And apparently my <laughs> husband told him. I wonder what he said. I wonder if he said they're going to or they're thinking about it. I don't know. I, I wouldn't I, put it past him to be like, yeah, or watch it <laughs> together getting their nose pierced. Like... I wouldn't put it past him. Okay, everybody, we are now at Jordan's house. We're trying to work with the lighting as best as we can um, because it is starting to get a little bit darker now. We just want to talk for a second about the process. So first we went to um, Tattoo Lab, but they were closed. So we went to Tattoo Crew, and I saw some suggestions for Tattoo Crew in the spouse's page. Did you see like suggestions in there too? Yeah. yeah. I believe Grace is the only piercer, I think. Do you think I so? I think so. She was amazing. Um, I feel like even if you had like a little girl come in and get her ears pierced, like she would be so sweet. Um, so definitely like hit her up if you're wanting to get a piercing. She is just super sweet and she's very considerate. And she also like walked us through the whole thing. It wasn't like she was, I don't know, like just kind of being like, get over it and just let me get it done type thing. Yeah. You know, like I, I just don't like that. Like I feel like like if you go to Claire's and you get your ears pierced, that's how it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're like, here's the gun and we're just gonna do it. She didn't really <laughs> like, you didn't really get like the surprise factor at all. Like mm -hmm. she was like, she talked you through it. She told you to like take a deep <laughs> breath. She would tell you to take a deep breath and then exhale when she told you to. And then that's when she would do it. And honestly, I'm I'm just a wimp myself, so I worked <laughs> myself over to my pain experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I would 100% get it again if like something was to happen to mine now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like so I feel like first of all our experience was great, was great because Grace made it great. Mm -hmm. um, I'll link her Instagram and Facebook down below so that if you are curious, and I will link um, Tattoo Cruise um, like all their socials down below. It was $70. You got to choose from two piercings, or two piercings, two um, jewelry studs. She uses titanium, which is um, a hypoallergenic 
so you don't have to worry yeah. if you're allergic to like nickel or silver like she uses titanium so yeah it's all good to go because i think i have a sensitivity to um nickel i think she said it will be about two months till we can change it honestly i'm probably gonna wait till later because i'm kind of paranoid are you gonna wait too yeah <laughs> she said after two months if we wanted to change it we could and that it takes up to six to nine months to fully heal but after two months she said you could change it but that's totally up to you experience from how it started to the end we just sat on the table she told us everything that we needed to know and then after that she got like all her instruments together they had this little like metal straw thing um it looks basically like a straw it's hollow in the middle and it basically goes in the nostril that's getting pierced so that when they put the needle through it is going to that not to like the other side of your nose and the needle that they used i was kind of surprised it looked like, like a medical needle like it didn't yeah. look like a regular needle it was like it was very I small too. She even told us she was mm -hmm. like, I use a pretty small. I think it's like a. She's. I think a, she's a twenty. Twenty gauge, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. which is not bad. I honestly, I don't like needles. So yeah, I don't either. When she said it was like a really small needle, I was like, okay, that makes it a little better, because yeah, <laughs> I've got my belly button pierced. <laughs> and that needle was far bigger and I'm not a fan so and everything that we're saying is also subjective like I feel like if we got into tattoo lab they probably would have done it different than tattoo mm -hmm. crew did because every place can be different but she put the needle in and then it stays there for a second while she gets the jewelry then she slips the jewelry in and then it's done now we're gonna talk about the pain which probably is why everyone clicked on this video <laughs> um so we both said it was probably a four you said yeah, probably a four out of ten four. Pain is so subjective, but honestly, I feel like when I heard people say, oh, I didn't even feel it go in, I was kind of like rolling my eyes, like, how could you not? But now I kind of get what they're saying. Like, you don't feel it going in, you just feel pain, if that makes sense. Like, I thought the whole time I was gonna feel every single thing, but it wasn't. It was just a sharp pain, and then a needle was in my nose, and then she put the jewelry in, and that stung a little bit. Literally took like 10 seconds, maybe, the active piercing itself. Mm -hmm. And then it was over and I feel like Jordan was very hesitant but after she was like oh it's a breeze and yeah. if you're on the fence about doing it like I feel like you should just get it done because I personally myself have had worse pain in life than this you feel like the initial initial like pinch of the needle like going mm -hmm. in it almost we compared it to like getting your ears pierced mm -hmm. like that initial like ow yeah and it just kind of feels like something's like in your nose a little bit like you kind of like want to wiggle your nose a little bit mm -hmm. and then i think when she was like inserting like the actual like stud mm -hmm. you could feel pressure but it wasn't yeah. like it's just sore oh, it wasn't like oh my god like that's the worst pain i've ever had in my life mm -hmm. but it was I mean, your nose has just been struck with a needle. <laughs> Us personally, what we went through today, at least where we got our nose pierced and everything, um, we had a great experience. Um, here's mine. Uh, she gave me a few different spots to get it on, but I got right here because she said if I went back any farther, I'd have to get a bigger hoop. And I'm more of a dainty girl and I kind of want my piercings to be dainty, so I don't really want a huge hoop. So I just did it right here and then let me see. I'm gonna try to get a side profile if I can. If it's gonna focus. Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like and it is sore right now, but that's to be expected. Yeah. This is mine. She didn't really, she didn't give me two marks to put mine like she did Ashen. She just kind of, she marked mine and then was <laughs> like, I don't even need to give you two marks. Like, it was a money good spot. spot. It was such a good spot, I feel like, for you. Yeah. After this video and throughout some of my vlogs, I will definitely update y'all on how it's been. And anytime Jordan's in the vlog, she'll probably update y'all too because, um, you know, this is not just a one-off thing. Like, it's a process and it has to heal and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, so keep in touch with my next vlog. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see scattered throughout probably my next few vlogs i'll just slightly mention like how it's doing and stuff like that i'm going to close out for tonight but then tomorrow when jordan gets home i will like update y'all on like his reaction and obviously he'll probably tell y'all what he thinks about it and stuff we hope that y'all enjoyed our little moments of pain <laughs> hi everybody it's the next day and here is my piercing um so far it's not as sore as i thought it was gonna be it definitely was sore yesterday but only sore when i like scrunch my nose like that <laughs> we're joined here with jordan and 
<laughs> and a whole day yesterday, we I hadn't told Jordan anything. Um, I know it's kind of awkward because like my friend's name is Jordan and my husband's name is Jordan. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but I didn't tell him anything. My friend Jordan that went with me though, she kind of hinted at her husband. So tell them what he said to you because Jordan's husband, his name's Logan, and this Jordan, they work together at work. So uh, he told me that you and Jordan were going to either Tattoo Lab or Tattoo Crew on Friday night. <laughs> and I was very confused because I didn't know anything about it. I'm like, I kind of just blew it off because it was real early. Did you think I was like going to get a tattoo? No, I, I didn't know what y'all drew. I thought maybe oh. Jordan was getting like a nose piercing or okay. and y'all just wanted to go. What did you think? I was super surprised. Was it noticeable? Like when you saw me, like was that yeah, one of the I first could, things yeah, you saw? I was very um, surprised. I didn't think you were going to go through it. Like, I'm not like a wimp, but I feel like I definitely can talk myself out of things. You don't like needles. I'm surprised know. you did it because you don't like needles at all. I don't like needles, but they they really only bother me when it comes to medical interventions. It's weird. What's your overall thoughts, Jordan? Do you think it looks good? Uh, you look beautiful with it. Oh, wow. How sweet. We're back with Jordan. Not my husband, the one that got her nose pierced. How did it feel last night sleeping? I was definitely a lot more aware of like what I was doing while I was asleep yeah. because yeah. I didn't realize how much I lay on my left side until I was <laughs> laying in bed and I was like, oh, I really want to lay on my left side. We cleaned it morning and night. I cleaned mine last night and this morning and she cleaned hers this morning and it doesn't hurt. It's not painful, but it definitely feels weird to like have to put it stuff in there. tickles. Like it feels like... Like especially when I have to like clean in my nose, it just feels like I have like something in my nose and I like mm -hmm. can't get it out. All right guys, I'm gonna close up the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that if you're getting your nose pierced that this helped you and I'm so glad that I brought y'all along to go with my friend and I because it was just nerve wracking to go. And honestly, like I said, at the end of the day, I highly recommend going to get your nose pierced. Follow along, subscribe to my channel to see how this heals and everything. And I also post my regular content twice a week. I live in Italy. I never said this in the video, but I live in Italy with my husband. He's military, so I'm military wife. And I would just love if you subscribe and follow along for our journey here in Italy. But anyways, I will catch y'all in this upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Have a good rest of your week. Bye. Thank you.